Hi, and welcome to the show. On today's show, we have an interview with author Peg Jordan, who's written a book discussing new research that dispels some of our beliefs regarding exercise. If you're carrying 20 extra pounds, don't worry about it so much as long as you exercise, because you've got better overall health and longevity than the normally thin person who never moves. We'll be entertained by and chat with the group Polonia Smith. Rini Cooperstein reveals how this Bay Area family coped with a major challenge. Matt was, was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma on Thanksgiving Day of uh, 1998 and he, it was a shock and a surprise. So don't go away, we'll be right back after these messages. Rini Cooperstein has a story about how a local Bay Area family was able to cope with the challenge by participating in a wish. Rini, why don't you tell us more about it? Thanks, Eileen. You know, the Bay Area prides itself with having the best. The best communities, music, entertainment, restaurants, and the arts. And when it comes to fulfilling magical wishes for children with life-threatening illnesses, the Greater Bay Area Make-A-Wish Foundation is no exception. Founded in 1984, the Greater Bay Area Make-A-Wish Foundation has granted over 2,400 wishes. There are over 400 volunteers working behind the scenes in creating and fulfilling wishes in a magical way. For the parents and families of children with life-threatening illnesses, the stress and challenge of their child's illness takes its toll, and being given the chance to share the joy of their child's wish creates magical memories for the whole family. This is the story of Matthew Silverman. He is a courageous 17-year-old who, along with the love and support of his mom, dad, brother, and sister, endured the pain and struggle of a life-threatening illness. Matt was, was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma on Thanksgiving Day of uh, 1998 and he, it was a shock and a surprise that uh, took a long time to get used to. He really had no symptoms until he was in a stage four condition which meant that cancer had spread um, pretty much throughout his body. His spine especially was attacked um, so he was in a body brace for six months. Um, so in the early months, um, it was very difficult. Matt was very sick. The treatments were very uh, debilitating. He um, was in bed quite a bit at the time, either in the hospital or at home. And uh, he watched the movie Free Willy uh, over and over again, all day long. It seemed to make him feel better. He forgot, a, he forgot about the pain. Um, he was able to eat something. It was able to put him to sleep. It comforted him. And through Free Willy, he became fascinated with orca whales. Um, and through that, my husband Joel started researching on the internet where orca whales were. And we promised Matthew that when he got better, we would all go see orca whales. It's a whole family thing, this, but, but Matthew really went through the worst of it. And, and Make a Wish this program is really geared to help everyone who went through the whole sickness, okay? So the Make-A-Wish program is for the, for the kid who was sick, but also for all those people that went through the same experience. And it was good to go through this as a family, okay? Because we went through the, the sickness as a family. That's it was right. really good to go through the wish as a family. When Make-A-Wish approached us for a wish, Matthew's initial reaction was, well, I don't want to do anything, I don't want to go anywhere, I don't want anything. At first I didn't really understand that it was making all these people happy to do this stuff for me. I thought it was just more of a bother to them. But then everyone like, got down and explained to me that they like to do this kind of stuff because it makes them feel better. And I real if I was in the their shoes, I liked helping other people too, so I kind of um, appreciated their point of view. 
it's hard to thank them enough for what they did. You know, even if I could have taken Matthew out there to go whale watching, I couldn't have taken him five times out on the boat. You know, and they, basically the captain said, we'll just keep taking you out as many times as you want to go. I've always felt that people basically are pretty good. And it was amazing when, when you get into a make-a-wish thing, how many people are involved to make a wish. Many of the places in Juneau donated services. So, I mean, it wasn't just uh, a few people donating money. As soon as he did make his wish, they just, they just went into action. And this took a lot of work to research where the orcas would be what time of year. I mean, you can't just snap your fingers and find orca whales. I think we were, we were ready to have fun. And we're very grateful that Make-A-Wish made it happen for us. We could never have done this on our own, I don't think. The expense alone, you know, after all the medical expenses. Um, but just to do the geography of it, um, they, were, they were remarkable. We're very grateful. The worst of his days, he watched orcas. And to see him later on, on, on really the highest of his days to see orcas was really just amazing. My heart was like racing and like bunk, dunk, dunk. It's like pure happiness. You, there's like no room for any upset or anything like that. It's just all, oh, this is so cool. It's just the coolest thing I have ever done. Every time we went on the boat, something different happened. Every time we started going out, I would say, something special is gonna happen today. And every day something special kind of did. clearly was a very important thing in, in the whole healing process, okay? Here was something that had been with us through the worst of it, was the orca whales, uh, the worst of his treatment days, when he was so sick or he couldn't take his pills or he couldn't get out of bed and he felt lousy. The thing that brought him happiness in, in life was, was looking at Free Willy and watching the orcas. We were always a very close family, um, so when this hit, it hit all of us very hard. Make-A-Wish was, was just amazing. It was it's truly a wish, a miracle wish, because they did everything they could uh, to make sure that Matthew got his wish. And that was, that was like their main thing was, it's a wish. It has to come true, and they, they really did make it come true. The Greater Bay Area Make-A-Wish Foundation has a saying, share the power of a wish. Matthew and his family experienced firsthand the power of a wish. That's all for the show this week. We'd like to thank the Make-A-Wish Foundation for their story on the Silverman family. Remember, if you have any comments or suggestions as to who you would like to see on the show, please call us or email us. You can visit our website at www.barrialifetv.com.